everyone, it's Andy and Jenna from A Couple Travelers. Today we are bringing you a deck by deck overview of Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady. In case you are new to the channel, we've done a few videos on Virgin Voyages in the, in the past, including a video about what's included in the cost of a Virgin Voyages cruise, a full overview of all of the dining options on board, and we also have some daily vlogs from our vacation on board the Scarlet Lady. And before we jump in, I just wanted to mention I am a travel agent and would be happy to help you plan your trip on board Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady or any of their other ships. My contact information, including my email address, is in the video description below. And in case you didn't know, it is completely free to work with a travel agent. So starting from the bottom of the ship, you have only a couple things on deck four. Uh, you have the medical center and you also have your tender boarding. So if you are getting off the ship and getting back on the ship, you are gonna do so from deck four. Moving on up to deck five, we have four major things on this deck. We have two restaurants, including Pink Agave, the Mexican restaurant, and Razzle Dazzle, which is their vegetarian forward restaurant. Again, if you want more information about the dining on board, check out the Virgin Voyages food overview video, which we will link below. In addition, you also have the Redemption Spa on this deck. I had a wonderful facial while I was here. Highly recommend it if you like spas to check out this one. And lastly, we had Sailor Services, which was pretty much almost always there and able to help make reservations and help troubleshoot any app issues or answer any questions. Moving up to deck six, there is a lot to show you on this deck, starting off with the red room, which is the multi-use performance space on board. You also have the manor, which is the main nightclub on the Scarlet Lady. Right outside the manor is the casino and the casino bar. Then you have the roundabout atrium, which is the main hub of the ship, the lower level of it, at least. Right by that, you have the on the rocks bar. Then you have the high street retail shops. These shops include Squid Ink, which is the tattoo parlor on board, a interesting new concept for the cruise industry. You have the booty free shop. At the booty free shop is where you could buy your duty free items on board. There's also Stubble and Groom, which is a barber shop on board the ship. Right by Stubble and Groom, you also have the Dry Dock, which is a more traditional salon. Then there's the Virgin Voyages shop, which is where you're going to purchase all of your Virgin Voyages branded merchandise. And then there's the necessity shop for your sundries and some of those types of items. In terms of dining on deck six, you have three different venues. The first of which is the test kitchen, which is a different dining concept on board. We didn't get to try it on our vacation, but it looked pretty cool. Extra Virgin is the Italian restaurant on board the ship. And then at the back of the ship, you have the wake, which is the steakhouse.
up to deck seven. We have a couple of repeat things on this level, including the red room, which is the performance space, and the manor, which is the nightclub, because both of those are two stories. You also have the groupie, which is private karaoke. You have the sip champagne lounge, the draft house, which is a local tap room. And then this is also the second floor of the roundabout atrium that Angie just mentioned. On this floor though, you'll find the vintage vinyl, which is a record shop, a section called Get Lost, where you can book your future Virgin Voyages sailings, the chart room, which is a sailor help and support area, Lick Me Till I Scream, which is a scoop shop, very delicious ice cream here, the grounds club, which is for coffee, the pizza place, obviously for pizza, really great delicious pizza, the loose cannon, which is kind of a dive bar, the arcade, and the social club, which you'll find a lot of games and it's a great place for people to gather. And then lastly, there is the dock house, which is a casual Mediterranean bar and the dock, which is the outdoor eatery and social club associated with the dock house. Decks eight to 14 on board the ship are all rooms. If you're interested in seeing a room tour from the Scarlet Lady, we will link that video in the description below as well. Moving on up to deck 15, there's quite a bit going on here. We're starting to get to the outdoor spaces. So on deck 15, we have the aquatic club, which is the poolside oasis. With that, there's also the aquatic club bar and the gym and tonic bar. This floor also has the tune-up, which is a manicure pedicure spa, and it has two parts of a gym. One side is the what's called the B complex bike and burn, and the other side is the B complex build and balance. For food on deck 15, you have the galley, which is a market style food hall. This is kind of what replaced the buffet on board a typical cruise line. And there's also Gun Bay, which is a lively Korean barbecue restaurant. On deck 16 of the Scarlet Lady, you have Richard's Rooftop, which is the VIP sun deck and bar. We did not have access to this, but trust us, it is on deck 16. You have the Sun Club Cafe, which is an outdoor eatery. You have the Sun Club and the Sun Club Bar. The majority of deck 16 is dedicated to fitness. So you have the training camp, which is a group fitness area. There is a boxing ring. There's a general sports area. And there's also the athletic club and the athletic club bar. Also on deck, deck 16, you have private cabanas on one side of the ship. And then at the back of the ship, there is the net, which is a suspended catamaran kind of photo opportunity area. It looks really great in theory, but it is super uncomfortable to sit on. So after I took a photo, I immediately got up.
coming up to the last deck on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. This is deck 17 and there are only two things on this deck. The first is something called the Perch, which is a space that is used for outdoor yoga. Think sunrise yoga, sunset yoga, perfect spot to get those great ocean views. And lastly, there is the runway, which is a jogging track that goes around the ship, again, offering amazing ocean views. So that is your deck by deck overview of Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Hopefully that gave you an idea of what it's like to take a cruise aboard the ship. If you have any questions about our experience on Virgin Voyages, leave us a comment. We'd be happy to get back to you. And again, if you're interested in a free quote, if you're considering a sailing on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady, my email is in the video description. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.